June 28, 2023. Ukraine war, nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Big picture. The Kremlin is purging officers, because when things aren't going a dictator's way, it's the fault of his officers. A busy restaurant was struck by a Russian missile, with over 60 casualties and at least 11 fatalities. Ukraine continues on day 490 in defense against Putin's full-blown ego. Russian military bloggers claim that Russia has used a stealth long-range reusable drone for the first time, in Ukraine. To date Ukraine has liberated roughly 25 square kilometers around Bakhmut, and over 250 square kilometers between Zaporizhia and Donetsk, since the start of the counterattack. Dnieper Line. A small Ukrainian bridgehead continues to draw heavy attacks, above Kherson. In Kherson and below, Kremlin forces shelled numerous targets in the last 24 hours. Russia's 7th Airborne Division appears to have redeployed to this line to combat Ukraine's advances. Zaporizhia Front. No line changes reported in the last 24 hours. The Russians appear to have attempted to retake initiative near Rivnopil, but were stopped without gains. The addition of the 136 motorized battalion to this area by the invaders is worth noting. East Front, Donetsk. Shelling is considerably lighter in the recent than this time last year. Fighting continues in and around Marinka. Bakhmut area. A Russian missile attack struck a restaurant full of soldiers and civilians in Kramatorsk. 60 plus injured, at least 11 fatally. Ukraine appears to be engaged in reckon and disruption attacks across this front, possibly with the goal of completing clearing of the vicinity of Yahidne village. One, likely fixing attack by Moscow's army reported south of M-03 west of Krasnohora. Oskil border front. Russia has brought another artillery brigade to the fight west of Lysychansk. Northern border. Shelling from Bolgorod into Kharkiv Arblast, and Bryansk in the far north, into Sumy and Chernihiv. Black Sea. Nothing of note. Ukraine world related. Russia has reorganized their production of tanks and artillery, placing the production of shells and vehicles under one controlling organization. Germany hopes to see this year be the key turning point in Ukraine's successes. Russian generals are finding out that allowing Stalin worship to proceed without comment does not come free. Unlike our commentary. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.